talk about how to secure funding or we go over a high level overview on how to get funding. But I'm actually going to create a series on how exactly to get funding and what you need to do tactically to get funding. So I hear you actually want to gain capital without using your own money. I see that you actually are struggling with getting your credit repaired and for some reason the way you're doing it just isn't happening fast enough. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to build that perfect credit score quick and fast in a hurry in this video so we can actually get you started and hip and get you to get that perfect credit score so you can get the bag, leave your job and do whatever and travel around the world the way you need to. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I am continuing this series or I'm starting this series, which is securing funding. So if you haven't watched the actual family business, how to create a family business video then go ahead and watch that first because you'll probably get a better understanding on why exactly i'm creating this video so in there we talk about how to secure funding or we go over a high level overview on how to get funding but i'm actually going to create a series on how exactly to get funding and what you need to do tactically to get funding so in this call not on this call and why i keep saying call like this is a zoom call so i'm really talking to y'all because we're here together you know back to what we're saying so in this video i'm going to break it down in two different ways we're going to talk about repairing the credit and then we're talk about building the credit okay the objective is to get a 750 credit score and to make sure that you get between 50 to 75k in funding in this video like that's what i'm going to show you that's the objective of this video so hopefully this can help you okay so the, we're going to talk about repairing credit first now mind you repairing and building you want to happen at the same exact time number one we're going to talk about repairing the credit first thing i want you to do if you do not have this already is i want you to go to annualcreditreport.com and actually download your credit report for free it costs you nothing now if for the long term Term, I want you to actually go and get Identity IQ. Credit repair process is going to change on a consistent basis. If you want to actually get Identity IQ and not have to spend forty dollars up front, I got a code at the bottom. If you click the link, you can get it for a dollar. I got you for at least seven days. You get your credit report updated all the time. Okay. So first thing, like I said, is get your credit report from AnnualCreditReport.com, and then you eventually get Identity IQ long term. The next thing is I want you to analyze your credit report. So what I mean by that is I want you to look at the inaccuracies, and I want you to look at the incompletions within your credit profile so what that means is you you would have dates okay so let's go from the dates if you have Experian, TransUnion, Equifax I want you to look at the dates within each account okay if the dates do not align so if one says 1-1-2023 1-3-2023 and then one says 12-1-2022 then those dates do not align they all need to be accurate and complete meaning that they all need to have the same date if they do not have the same date technically those are inaccurate so that means you can remove them and not just remove we're not we're not here to remove we're here to delete the difference between removing and deleting removing is where you're just removing it from the internet but deleting means that we're deleting it from the internet and the file okay on the back end so we need to delete all inaccuracies and incompletions so uh that's one way another thing that you can look at for inaccuracies and incompletions is if your inquiries match with your accounts okay so what that means is or really will be accounts and inquiries right so what that means is if i have a wells fargo account then i need to have a wells fargo inquiry if i do if those two do not align then the inquiry gets deleted and so does the account right if i have five accounts and 10 inquiries then five of those inquiries that do not align needs to be deleted okay so i want you all to really understand what i'm saying that those things need to match the goal is for you to have five credit cards and we'll talk about that when you're building five credit cards in your but you need to have five inquiries that match those five five accounts okay so that's the point of looking for inaccuracies you also want the next thing is to freeze all your secondary bureaus right and we'll tell you i'll tell you the reason why now so innovus sage stream clarity services teletrack core logic credco lexus nexus micro built factor trust paynet lindo efl like but like those are the key and important ones you freeze all of those the reason why freezing is important right is because when you're freezing your secondary bureaus the secondary bureaus is what's reporting to the reporting agencies so let's talk about language real quick everyone has heard of fbi cia all these bureaus that exist when it comes to credit i need you to change the lingo of who you're talking to when you're saying when you're putting in a dispute letter and this is how you know that your dispute letter is not working when you put in the dispute letter credit bureau or, or experian and you put credit bureau in there think about it this way i am marcus if you were to call me charles am i going to answer of course not because that's not my name so when you say credit bureaus they're not credit bureaus they're reporting agencies the only bureau is cfpb right so you have cfpb then you have the reporting agencies which is experian transunion equifax so what you're doing is you are freezing 
using the secondary reporting agencies because those bureaus are actually reporting to the main reporting agencies, which is the main big three, right? And what you want to do is if you're trying to get things deleted off Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, you need to stop all the reporting to them, right? So you want to freeze all secondary bureaus so you can actually delete off of those main, off of those big three, okay? So the next thing you need to do, right? when you're looking and analyzing your credit report, you must fix your personal information first, okay? So what that means is usually in your credit report and when you download it and you get everything from annualcreditreport.com, you're gonna be seeing like either multiple names or multiple addresses or multiple phone numbers or whatever at the bottom or where your personal information is. You have to correct that because you don't live in all three addresses at the same time. You can't clone yourself, right? So when they're trying to send stuff to you, like they can't, they can't send it to three different addresses because you're not at all three different addresses. So you need to make it at three addresses because one, what the banks look at when they see your personal information and they see three different ad addresses, they see inconsistencies and the banks do not like to see inconsistency, right? So you have to call all the bureaus. I'll list the numbers in the description below if you need them, right? And get all of those personal information deleted, right? Or you can send a personal information dispute letter that and if you need that, that's also in the description below. All dispute letters that I'm mentioning will be in the description below for you, but uh, you can and they're all leveraging consumer law. If you don't know what consumer law is, consumer law is actually of the U.S. code, which is we'll talk about it in another video. But this is the this is what is leveraged to know who the consumer is and how to. This is how you get things off your credit report. Leveraging consumer law. We'll talk about consumer law in a different way. But if you want to get things removed off your personal information or anything removed or deleted off of your credit report, you leverage those dispute letters and you want to do that. So, like I said, there are three different ways to dispute. There are inquiries, collections, and public records. And of course, there's other ways but like those are kind of like the main ways of how to actually dispute but like your public records are like your repossessions your bankruptcies your child support all that that's pretty much what that they're all public that's why it's called public records right so this is the section of the repairing stage right this is how you repair so to review you want to download and get your credit report then you want to analyze your credit report then you want to freeze the secondary bureaus right after that you then want to correct your personal information and then you want to send disputes to get dispute letters to actually get things deleted that are inaccurate and incomplete on your credit report those are the five things that you want to get done on your credit report and there are of course more others but like these are the main things if you actually want to get things done right like but i'm giving you the overview and the tactics of the exact things you need to do on your credit report okay now let's talk about building your credit report okay when it comes to building your credit report you want to break this down into four different sections okay which is you want to have a minimum 680 credit score but our goal is 750 because everything that i just mentioned before if you do that, you'll be good. You want to have a minimum 680 credit score. You also want to pay off any high utilization that you have. So pay off any credit cards that are that are making you high utilization. If you don't know what high utilization is, that means that you have high debt. Your debt to income ratio is off balance. You want your income to be higher than your debt. Okay. If your debt is higher than your income, then you will always have bad credit, right? So this is why some people have 800 credit scores, but then they always get denied. It's because they have more debt than they do income, right? So you want to make sure that you're high you pay off all your credit cards your high your utilization is dropped down to i want to say at least below 10 percent right there's always different numbers some people say three some people say 10 some people say 30 i like 10 because after a certain number when you get to like 11 15 they actually start reporting to your credit report and some people even say after four percent they report to your credit report you pick a number right but i prefer 10 percent from there then you want to get a trade line right you want to actually this is the third thing is get your credit history on point right so i want you to add a trade line onto your credit report Report, what this does is it shows that you most people when they first start their credit report they either look too new meaning that they haven't had credit for long periods of time or they their debt to income is bad right so mo in most cases after you situate everything nine times out of ten you don't really have enough credit history so what you need to do is add a trade line if you want to get a trade line link in the description we got that for you but you want to actually get a trade line okay from there you then want to have your 11 accounts on your credit the key thing is you want to have a mix of accounts you don't want to just have 11 accounts you have a mix of account so i suggest five credit cards three or two of them could be neighborhood banks and then you want to have um, some major banks in there now the key thing is the you want to make sure that at least two of them have 2.5k in each of those accounts in each of those credit cards because what that does is this now allows you to be qualified for business credit along with the other six other accounts that you need so the six other accounts for example here's some that you can apply for self kickoff if you have a car note if you have a mortgage and all the other things that exist swap at least whatever right if you have 11 accounts mix of accounts on your credit report so you have a minimum of 680 you have a 
1.5k on at least two cards and you have 11 accounts you qualify for business credit which means you can get business funding right and there's no derogatories you qualify right so this is the key thing is you want to make sure that you repair as well as build okay and this is the way that you're able to do it and like i said if you want to get identity iq you want to get the trade lines you want to actually get the dispute letters you want to learn on how to exactly become debt free and become wealthy and learn what the top one person are doing to become billionaires and leverage debt to become billionaire status i want you to go ahead join our free workshop it's called the debt free workshop we are going to show you exactly how we were even able to leverage from uh 2020 making two thousand dollars a month to now making 100k months in six months so i want to go ahead and show you click the link in the description i will tell you the link in the description script is going to break down everything you need so i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video peace